What is going on my supreme YouTube family? Welcome back to another video, another Pokemon video, because today's a big day, it is Evolving Skies launch day. And I'm gonna be celebrating it by doing a bunch of unboxings and open up a bunch of booster packs, mostly on my live stream channel over at Twitch slash TiVo Supremo. So if you wanna follow and see some unboxings of it over there, go ahead and go follow because we have not one, not two, not two, but three booster boxes, along with one, two elite trainer boxes, along with a bunch of packs. So there is a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be opening up on live stream. I'm kinda waiting for my son to get home too so he can open up some stuff with me. But for this video, I will go ahead and open up one booster box. We'll blast through it and see what we can get. And I'm also gonna show you guys at the beginning some stuff that I actually already uh, kind of unwrapped already. I had some booster packs that came in early that dropped yesterday at Target, five of them. And I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got out of those packs and a couple packs that I opened up today. So let's switch the camera around and get going. All right, so before we start cracking into this bad boy, I'm gonna show you some of the cards I've already drawn. Uh, these were for some early packs that I got at Target yesterday. They did an early release. They had some these blister packs hanging up. You can get five. So I got five. And also today they had the triple packs, three boosters and a little blister package that you could get with a coin. I opened up two of those. So out of what, three, six, eight packs. This is this is what I got in eight packs, guys. Now, I hope this isn't gonna blow expectations away on what the hit rates will be, but this is what I got, eight packs. First card I got was the Secret Rare, Gold, Lightning Energy, Electric Energy, the Full Art, Zania's Resolve, Excuse me, Mr. Pokemon Box. Another Secret Rare, the Stormy Mountains, glaring off of the protector here. The Full Art Rayquaza V was actually the very first Evolving Skies card or hit card I ever drew was this one. What a way to start off my Evolving Skies journey. Glaceon VMAX, the Rainbow Rare. And last but not least, the biggest heavy hitter so far, the Leafeon VMAX Alternate Art. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in eight packs, all hits. So I don't know what the destiny holds for the booster box, but this was in the little three pack blisters and the standalone little blister pack. So my Evolving Skies journey has started off with a bang. I don't know how much better it could get after this, but we're gonna crack into it and see what more we can get into right now. All right, slicing into the box. Let's get it open. 36 packs right here to start the day. And it's gonna be a long day. Like I said, we got two more of these, two more ETBs, and a bunch of other packs to blow through. Let's see how many of the big hits we can get. We've already started off on a really high note, so I don't know how much better it can get. All right, so booster box open. I'm gonna set it to the side right here out of the way. Let's get the cracking. So I'm not sure if how I'm gonna film this yet. I might, if there's gonna be like no hit packs, I might just kind of fast forward through all of that so you can just see the hits, but we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm not too sure. So I'll put this right over here. Not too sure, we'll, we'll play with it as it goes, but there's the hits we had so far. Let's get going. First one out the booster. So how stoked are you guys about this launch? You're gonna need scissors to get this job done. All right, we need we needed the scissor assistance for the first pack. And yes, on my channel, I do show the code cards and on my stream. So there you go. Anyone who 
wants it or needs it. Card trick four. Check for camera. Let's go. Hippo down. Bravery. Lucky Ice Pop. Litleo. Some Pumpkaboo. These are all like way new Pokemon for me. I did not grow up with these Pokemon. <laughs> Coagonal. A Galarian Moltres holographic. Nice. We are going to be trying to go for the master set for this, so every card is important to the collection here. See, why couldn't the first one open that easy? But yeah, I'm really excited about this set since uh, I'm new to getting into it. So this is kind of like my first start with a fresh launch of cards. Chilling Rain was already out by the time I started getting into this. So I was able to get really familiar with all the cards before launch here, before we got into it. So, Feeble, My Reap, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus. There's a Twitch streamer who always, I see always playing going for a Phoebus. Scrafty and Jumpluff as our hollow. So two hollow hits off the bat, which is pretty nice. Pack number three. There's gotta be a better way to get these things open. Someone probably knows a trick out there who can help me, but there we go, code card. One, two, three, four. Put them in. And so far, the cut on these cards, ah, seems really good. Chilling Rain, a lot of off-centered cards for me and a lot of whitening on the edges. But so far from what I've seen of these, it's been really good. Flavy and an Appleton as our rare. Pack four. All right, I think we are due for a hit. I'm calling it right here. This is gonna be our first hit of the box. It's coming in. I'm guessing it's gonna be a V card. Possibly not an EVV, but it will be a V card. Let's see if I'm right. Three, four. To the front. Out of the way. Leaf energy. Lucky eyes pop. Scrafty. Naked. Lognarola. Swabaloo. Clouds his wings. Switching cups for the reverse hollow. And I was wrong. Missed call. Do not trust me. My judgment's horrible. Rare. Diving back in. Pack number five. Will the first hit show itself right now? You know, from videos I've watched online, they've seen to the average about eight to nine, eight to ten hits per box with a good either full art or secret rare. I actually have better luck when I get standalone packs than opening a booster box, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So, I think money is better spent going in there, and if your Walmart had a full stock like mine did, it had at least a hundred plus up to 200 temple here we go it's our hit card oh Ampharos it at least had I want to say about 200 two to three hundred of these uh booster packs like this I think this is the better way to go over than a booster box because it's just more random I don't know booster box can kind of be set in its ways I don't think those are set like I said look what I pulled Number seven, still no hits. We're kind of going back and forth between sections though. Crash away. Code card. Four, a little bit of whitening on those. Swoobat, Lombra, Woobat, Gossifler. Some more Feebass action. Oh, Lily Pup, so cute. And a, kit. And a Galarian Zapdos Hollow. So we're we're getting the birds here. We're getting the birds. Screen door opening and closing. Pack number eight. Still no hit yet. Maybe my luck ran out with all the other booster packs. Hey, if we can get the alternate art Rayquaza, that's all that matters. Oh, I never mentioned my chase cards. What what is Stevo Supremo going after for these that he really wants? Of course, I want the Umbrian uh, alternate art, Reaching for the Moon, the VMAC.
And sorry, my screen door is really loud if you're hearing it, so. Of course, that's one of the ones I want. That's the Dragonite alternate art is another awesome one. So those are like the main two that I'm really trying to go after. For the chase. Pop it. Hitmonchan. How he's been regulated to this single like common card now one of my favorite pokemon even though this is an awesome artwork still love you hit on chan maybe one day you'll make it back to your v card glory if you even ever had one Drampa reverse and finally our first hit a glaceon v max to go with our glaceon v max rainbow rare there we go finally eight packs in we got it card looks clean Let's sleeve it up. Awesome colors. Awesome look. Centering is great. And there, let's put you by your, uh, your big bro version. Big sis version. There we go. <laughs> so we get a hit, and it is an evolution. Evolution. I'll take it. Awesome. They're jumping out at me, jumping out. Man, I, I don't know about you guys. All right, pack number nine, giving me trouble. And I don't know about you guys, but it's been here in Virginia. It's been like 90 plus degrees all week. It has been burning up out there. I don't know what's like in y'all's areas, but man, it's even struggle to keep the house cool. Like the AC is on working mode constantly you know what the weather's like in y'all's area because it is burning up up here in the va c dot this is the first time i've seen this card Ted dursa teddy ursa we'll roll with it <laughs> and tropius <laughs> all right pack number 10 there we go we're cracking them open now but what are the cards you all are chasing if you are into the Pokemon collecting scene? Let me know in the comments below. I think everyone wants that Umbreon alternate art. And I can't blame you. It's an awesome looking card. Fish again, reverse Gordy with the Phasmatoad. All right, so far, 10 packs in, one hit. Oh, what's going off? All right, so far, 10 packs in, one hit. Come on, box, I know you got something in here hiding for us. Phone's over there getting eBay alerts because I got a bunch of eBay orders ending here during the stream because uh, I've gotten into collecting some sports card stuff too, and some of the rookie card doubles and stuff that I've gotten or stuff that I don't want for my own personal collection. I've just been slapping up on there and people have them for whatever they want. So most of the times the stuff I'm putting up there is getting, making very little money, but it's a bunch of extra stuff we don't need anyway. Rufflet, drowsy. Weeble and still no hit. Here's a thick stack of cards here piling up on one side. Maybe I gave it bad luck when I got gave the wall of hits. I put everything else that we've already opened instead of the new stuff. Don't worry, I pick up all that trash after the stream. There's just no convenient place for me to put it while I do the unboxing. <laughs> Floet, Boldor, Bagon, Woobat, Timpole, Psyduck, Bagon, Reverse Jumpluff, followed up by a Wishy Washy Rare. Wishy Washy, my hopes away. Come on. Where are the hits at? Let's roll. Oh, that pack opened so smooth. Why can't they all be that smooth? All right. Boom. Two, three, four. Leaf energy. Some gold duck action. Herder. 
Bergmite. Just a big old iceberg. Okay. Drowsy, coming back from the classic, Scraggy. Reverse, Hippowdon. And hey, we have the alternate art, Espion V. Big hits, big hits. We will take it. Get you in a sleeve. What an awesome looking card. We are just rolling with the alternate arts already. Two already. Man. Check it out. Espeon. Using your psychic powers. Making all the books float. Again, the centering and the cut. Looks awesome. Another awesome hit. And something I've learned, which my son actually told me about from watching videos, uh, the back of these cards, I guess, seem to give away. Look, we've had two good hits, and look. Two white backings on the code cards. The rest were green. I think this, you can sometimes get a white card with a rare hollow. But, so I try my best to avoid looking at the back of the pack because I don't want it to spoil the pack for me, you know? I, I think that if, I don't know why it's the system is made that way, if it's on purpose, but uh, I think that is something they definitely should change because you don't want your pack to be spoiled or not before you even get to look at the card. So that's why I do my best when I do this stuff. I'll look at the camera or look away, show the code card, turn it over, then do the four card count and get to it. Moon and Sun Badge, Pyroar, Dino, Marie, Wobbuffet, love this, Weevil, a Reverse Hollow Lantern, followed up by a Galarian Articuno, and I believe that completes all of our Galarian birds, and we get them all in hollow form, so pretty awesome. Next pack here, next pack here. So let me know too, guys, if you were able to find, I mean, all of my stores have plenty of stock for stuff today. Uh, I did by no means take everything from everybody. Uh, there was plenty for everyone to go around. Actually this morning, crazy story. I've been going to past two mornings since I'm getting into the sports card stuff, going in, try to get the restocks right when they happen. Here we go, a Reverse Hollow Zinnia's Resolve, followed up with another hit, Gyarados V, we'll take it, a classic Pokemon Gyarados in his V form. We'll take any type of Gyarados because he's just a classic, awesome OG Pokemon. More than welcome to join the hit line up here. But anyway, story continued. Uh, trying to do the restocks for the sport cards. Yesterday it was kind of crazy because Pretty much the group that was there in front of me is one about four guys. They went in and took everything. They let me get a uh, Pokemon ETB. And if you're into sports cars, I got one blaster box of Tops Chrome. That was it. They took everything else. The most sought, off, sought after thing right now being basketball stuff. I want to get the NBA Select basketball. Anyways, uh, today though, when a whole lot better because uh, they sucked up all the ETBs and stuff but again they let me have one they're pretty cool but also pretty greedy but today just a group that was there was really cool there's just three guys then me just hanging out talking for about 30 minutes before the store opened and Lilligant as our rare before the store opened me just trying to gain knowledge about all this stuff because since I am new to it and they actually helped me out a lot uh, trying to learn the game and how to get stuff, but uh, went in there and uh, they just took basketball stuff and left me everything else. So there was basketball, football, all the Pokemon I could ask for, I could get if I wanted it. Uh, the guy was actually still stocking stuff there while we were there. So they had a bunch of ETBs. Uh, I picked up the one yesterday and only grabbed one today. So there was about 10 or 12 left that I saw, plus a whole rack of booster packs. I didn't even take any from that location. So I'm not that type of person to want to suck up and take everything. So definitely won't do that. 
back on in Appleton. But all the other stores I went to today searching just to, I was trying to find the battle trainer boxes that come with some booster packs and some promo cards that it's the only way to get them in those boxes. So really wanted to try to find those somewhere, but couldn't. But the only place that didn't have anything left was the Target that actually had stocked the cards earlier in the week. So unfortunately, I went there right at opening, leaving from the Walmarts. And uh, I was the first one at the door and I go in and I'm looking at the Pokemon stuff. None of the new stuff was there. And up came these two little kids and their dad uh, looking for the new stuff too. And unfortunately, none of it was there at Walmart. Hey, a reverse hydro hydrogen, hydrogen, it's a region and hide. Hydrogen, there we go. <laughs> but his dad comes in with his two kids and they're wanting it. And I'm like, yeah, unfortunately, I think they had some here earlier in the week, but hey, uh, Walmart had plenty still when I was there. I would go check there. Uh, also, GameStop wasn't open yet, and the GameStop employee told me yesterday they were going to have booster packs and a triple pack blisters and such. So I was telling them all that stuff of where they could go and get it. And I said, hey, I even got some out in my car right now that I'll, I'll give your boys some if they want some. Like, I don't mind. No charge. Just to hook them up with a couple packs. But he said it was... It was fine that they would go find some, but he appreciated it. But I thought I'd try. I'm a giving guy. I try to help out. If if I knew, if say if I had four ETBs in the back of my car, and I knew there was no way for them kids to go get some, I would have easily let them have the opportunity to get those two ETBs from me. So there's always going to be more. They're going to print more. This stuff's not going to run out anytime soon. So it's just how I am. Last hit was the Gyarados. Get in here, Pack. Oh, no. Oh. Camera's getting kicked everywhere. We'll roll with that one. All right. Last hit was the Gyarados. We're almost through one side. Actually, let's cheat on this one. It's green. That means it's gonna be bad. Let's go straight to it. It was accurate. <laughs> But yeah, don't look at the back. Actually, you know what's going to be cool? What we're going to do here? I have one, two, three, four, five, five packs here. I'm going to, and then we have, still have our whole, another section of cards. What I'm going to do is I might fast forward through it some, but I'm going to open up all these five packs and just lay the hits down on the table. And then we're just going to look at the hits all at once. Should be fun. I saw that in a uh, a guy stream, and it looked like a pretty fun thing to do. So let's give it a go. I may have done this first card wrong. So we'll find out when we do the reveal here. But let's see. Nope, that is a rare. Ooh, I see some hits back there. Thievil. We have a hollow Marshadow. Followed up with a Leafy on VMAX. Normal form. Man, I'm hitting on all the, <laughs> the VMAXs for the evolutions today. Followed up with another hit in the ah, Arctofish V. Double hits out of the four. Let's sleep them up. Get in here, Leafeon. We got your alternate art form sitting over there waiting for you. To fish. Man, we're running out of spots for you guys. Come over here, fish. There we go. I did kind of do it right. The first one I messed up, but hey, that's a pretty fun way to like go through them. Oh. Flip K 
kicking this camera. All right, I think, let's see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 to go. 12 packs to go, one, two, three, four hits, including an alternate art, VMAX. So there should be about, I wanna say about four more hits out of these next last little bunch. All right. All right, let's get into it. Psychic, Russell. Are you guys excited for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Reverse, Hollow Drowsy, Trampa. I cannot wait. I had a blast with Sword and Shield. I'm itching to get back on. I was actually about to start up some of the older games here uh, to pass the time. I was like, you know what? There's stuff I'm trying to finish. I got Axiom Verge 2 that I'm trying to wrap up. Monster Hunter Stories 2. Did Monster Hunter Stories 2. There's just a bunch of stuff I want to play and get through. And not any time now that this card thing has entered my life taking up a lot of time too. Just going to look for them, packaging them up, finding places for them to go. Ooh, hollow. Die, die, alga. Die, alga. Sound it out, Steven. <laughs> Cooling carga. I can't wait to see the look on my son's face when he gets here today and sees all these packs that he has to help me open later on. <laughs> so I don't know about y'all or if you ever open up too many booster boxes, but um, start to get the smell on your hands of all this wrapping. It's not the most pleasant smell out there. Eskew, <laughs> Scroll the Flying Dragon, Scraggy, Beavis, Hitmonchan, Hippolyl, Pirate War, followed up by Smeargle. A little bit of Smeargle action. Gonna go smear some things. Alright. Evolving Skies. A huge set to have to try to complete. Huge set. 230 plus cards. Complete the set. If not more, it might be in the 240s. And it's got a bunch of from V card, V card, alternate art, secret rares. V I mean, it's got a bunch of those hits. I think I counted the other day. Eldegoss as our rare. If you count all the V card, secret rares, V max, rainbow rares, ultra rares, it's 101 hits out of the 230 plus cards. So almost half the cards are these hit cards, which is insane. <laughs> It's just so, but it's also pretty cool because it leaves good odds of like getting something when you open a pack, you know. And right now, values on a lot of this stuff is really high, but uh, as the market kind of gets out there, more of these things show up. So I think uh, there's some cards, alternate art, V Max, Quaza. It's like 400 bucks. Beauty fly, followed up by another Tropius. All right, we're getting to the end here, folks. We are getting to the end. Card right. one, two, three, four. Lightning, Elemental, Prettier, Spirit Mask, Eevee, Temple, Cutie fly, Applin, Sableye. And the Gore guy swallowed up with Glaceon V. Hey, it's like I'm getting every little version of Glaceon that I need. Is there a Glaceon V alternate art? If so, we get it. It'll complete the whole cycle. It'll complete the cycle, folks, if there is one. I cannot recall if there is or not from the set list. Sticks to go. I'm getting better at this. I think the first time I tried to do one of these it took me two hours to go through a booster box. So 
We're getting the speed down. One, two, three, four. We should be due for at least two more hits in here. Count it. At least two more. Love disc. C dot. Slack off. Laffy Reverse Hollow Witch. Apparently this is a really strong card in the TCG game. Once during your turn, you may attach an energy card from your discard pile to a bench. I can see why. What is our rare of evil? I've gotten into playing the game with these base sets and decks that you can get. Uh, but when it comes to making your own, I got no idea what I'm doing. And... The people playing online and stuff, I, I I can't keep up with them. So I've already given up. That's why the codes go all to you guys and viewers who like it and want to watch. All right. I wonder what the odds are in a booster box getting the same hit card twice. Altaria, that's a new one for me. And Ampros, because I don't think... This is only my third booster box ever opening. I'm pretty sure it has not happened in any box that I've opened. It did happen to me in an ETB. Ah, come on. Actually, a one that you guys will not see. But yeah, I got two Blissey Vs out of the same ETB. Out here, trash. Card. One, two, three, four, five. What am I doing? One, two, three, four. Energy. Third ear. Gold up. Pikachu. Welcome to the pile. Lily Pub. You won't have, haven't seen that one yet. Pentacool. Reverse Fletchling. Followed up by a Flapple. The last three packs incoming. Here we go. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Wow, hold on. One, two, three, four, only five hits out of this booster box. We are way under the mark here. <laughs> oh, six. I, for I, I forgot about you over there, Arctivish. There's that. There is at least one more in here. Better, hopefully, too. All right, and the little Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, might reverse. Followed up by a Noivern V. Not the alternate art where everyone's calling like the Batman card, the Dark Knight card, but we'll still take it. Noivern V. We take a spot over here by Octopus V. Final two, and I, I do believe we're gonna have one more hit. I sense it, one more coming. Here we go. Our final two packs. As the code cards pile up, the trash booster bags piling up behind me and all around me. Woobat, Eevee, Beauty Fly, Reverse Scraggy, Flapple, on to the final pack. All right, my Supreme family. Some last pack magic here. Thanks everyone for watching and tuning in. If you want to see more Pokemon stuff, be sure to give a follow on the channel. Head over to Twitch because there's going to be more going, a lot more going on this season with opening up the rest of the boosters. And the rest of the packs and ETBs I got. It's, it's a Bahamas Skies launch day, baby. So, here we go. Final pack. Swoobat. Lombra. Lucky Ice Pop. Bring us some luck on this one. Dweeble. Rufflet. Ragnarola. Ragnarola. Wubbuffet. Reverse Hollow Lily Pup. And a Thievul stealing away our soul. Not getting us one more hit. Anyways, quick recap. Before we end the video, all right, the hits that we had from the booster box, Noivern V, Arctivish V, Glaceon V, Leafeon V Max, 
Gyarados V, Espeon V, Full Art, Glaceon V Max, and there we have it. Again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Check out more on Twitch if you want to see more unboxings later on today. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for everything. Catch y'all on the next one.